Hey, how's it going, guys? Boring Break here, and uh, welcome to my live stream. Today, I'm going to be streaming uh, what what remains of Edith Finch. You don't see it up right now because the game doesn't have a home screen, so I uh, yeah, you have to uh, start it later. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, and I hope you guys enjoy. And it is starting. There we go. I'm actually pretty excited for this game. It's been a little while since I did anything, so... You know, why not? <laughs> Hello, kitty. Okay, so I am Edith Finch, and I am on a boat, and I open this notebook because it's my journal. Oh my god, I can't move my mouse. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay, so what did you know from this game? It's like you're Edith Finch, your whole family died in a house. I'm assuming that house way over there. That's basically all I know from this uh, I lived game. I until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Like, I, um... I know it's a very atm atm atmospheric game. I know it's a walking simulator, but it all seems good. Let's see, what's in here? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. And nobody ever opened them. Because everybody's dead. Guess you know that's what this game wants you to do. My brother Lewis's funeral. Honestly, I like that they have the subtitles like just along the game itself. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe okay, well there's I'd a key know, right there. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, I think it certainly is enough to bring you back because you are here. My mouse is stuck under my monitor and I don't want to move it. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Alright, so Kylie, it is your job to tell me if the sounds. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, goodbye. Anyways, it is your job to tell me if uh, like the sound is too loud, if I'm too loud, if the video's bad. I don't know. The tell truth me. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay. Oh, hey, that's uh. Honestly, this is a very weird like looking I house. It, the way I've been dreaming about it. Well, thank you, Kitty. Well, okay, so you don't sprint by doing shifts. You just what is that? Milton Finch missing. If you have Milton, oh man, that's my little brother, isn't he? He's dead. I, I know for a fact he's dead. I, I like. I'm child, pretty sure everybody's dead. The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Yeah, this house would make me pretty, uncom pretty uncomfortable too. I mean, look at that. I mean, who has a, a house with a tower like that? Come on. Sir, I thought that might have been something. It was just a thing glowing. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. Oh, there's, a, there's actually a dragon. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Wait, the little brother was Lewis, wasn't it? Wait, what, what little brother? Wait, who's Lewis? It's Milton. Milton. Who's Lewis? Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. Wait, I you're only... Of the house. You're only 17? What are you doing here? All alone. Why'd you leave your family if you're only 17? I kind of want to go around the back right now. Let's see what's in the back. Okay, so this is the garage... I thought that was a zip line. I got, I got excited. That sound actually scared me for a second. Oh! <laughs> I, I assume... Um, the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. 
I, I, I don't know, Kylie. <laughs> I, I, my mind went blank when I, when I, uh, when I heard that, I guess. But she has a big family, so they probably was Lewis. For the first time in years. Wait, wait. I felt like I was home. Okay. You felt like you were home, in a home where everybody but died. Instead of a family, there were just memories of one. I keep wanting to sprint, but it only zooms in. I fucking hate this. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Okay, so there's Eddie. Oh my god. Okay, so they just left the house. Straight up left the house. Am I might Nothing in pregnant? the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Look look at the stomach jiggling. I don't know if she's pregnant. <laughs> Okay, so, uh... Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. How does a house sink? Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. I, I see, I see, I see. Man, I'd kill for this backyard. What is that? Is that a stat... Is that a statue? Oh, my God. I'm not even going to question that right now. I'm, I'm sure we're going to go to it later. Birdies. Okay. Eh, okay. Is this where Mom the key? always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, I get excited. What is this? Barbara! Okay, I'm doing that? Okay. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Okay, oh hey, collection of bugs. Oh, collection of oh, butterflies. Oh, those. Barbara Finch. Oh, she was... Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to spoil it right now, but I, I know who Barbara is. Ooh. Okay, is there anything around here? Does that thing, does that thing close by itself? I don't know if music boxes do that or not. I've never had one in my life. After Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got pretty sick of salmon. Except our cat. Molly. I would get pretty sick of salmon within two days. Only one restaurant would deliver to our house. We had Chinese a lot. You know, I don't think I've ever had to take out Chinese. Ever. Well, I mean, I've never had it delivered to me. Is that a train? I just heard a train. Okay, well, that's a uh, box. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. I want to know what happened that last my night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. I mean, I, do, I don't doubt it if he's alive. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What? Why would you bury people in the... What? Huh? No, no, not gonna question that. I'm not gonna question that. Ah, I wanna After sprint, Milton damn it. Disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Well then... Okay, I remember a scene that I saw on a live stream right there. Okay. Oh, hey! The words. They, they floated to this room. Whose room is this? Calvin's. Calvin and Sam. Calvin 1950 My to 1961. Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Well, that's a nice uh, detail to throw in there. You know? Seven years with his dead brother. Couldn't he just said as a brother? Calvin, 1950, 1961. Sven and Eddie. Oh, Edie. Let's see. Sven Hoff, that's Finch, 1915 to 1964. Ah, okay, so he lived a while. Edie, 1917 to 2000. Damn! She old. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Okay, then. What is this? The spirit among us. Swedish folk tales. The Norse myths. East of the sun and west of the moon. Okay. A Viking's belly. Oh, that that seems like a good book. Um, I, One thing that I know is that um, the people who created this also created The Unfinished Swan, which is uh, this game I played on PS3, which honestly is really good. I'm going to check this room. Oh, hey, it's Barbara. 
Let's see when she died. 1944-1960. Oh, okay, so she only lived like 16 years. Rip. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. America grows out of everything. They have like a new trend every month. Fidget spinners are this month. I don't understand. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. I want to sprint! Let me sprint. Oh god, that's creepy. Okay, well, uh, before I go into that room, I'm going to go into Molly's room, 1937-1947, alright? Oh, hey, Molly what's up? seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Welp. Everybody died. Oh, she was only 10. Oh. All these I dead children! playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. I mean, I would seal it up too. <laughs> okay, what is Louis this? Told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Okay, well that's the key. Okay, Turns and out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. What? The okay, okay, push. Okay, now yeah, there we go. Find out what my mom had been afraid of. We got the crayons. The oh, hey. It's clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Is that a cat? Is that supposed to be a cat kitty? Do you think this cat? This. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <laughs> I mean, for somebody who locks every like I had no dead idea ch child's was gonna door. Lead. Yeah, you have no idea. Oh, hey, it's an owl mask. I love it. I love it. It's mine. I want. I want. I want to get one like that. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly, Molly, Molly. She was. She was a ten-year-old. I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Okay, behind a painting. Let's see what's in here. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Dude, that's freaking cool. I would make I would give my my gerbil a room like that too. Let's see nothing here, then uh, nothing, 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 nothing. There we go. What's that? Molly Finch, December thirteenth, nineteen forty seven, dear diary. Nineteen forty seven. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay, so now I'm Molly. Oh, look, she's gonna eat, she's gonna eat her gerbil. The gerbil food was dry, but oh, I wait. didn't mind it. Where, where's the, is, the gerbil's in there, isn't he? Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Let's see, Halloween candy. The Halloween candy was all gone. Huh? What kind of freaking mom locks her child in her own bedroom? Stupid. This is why. This is why they died. I kept eating and eating. I also eat toothpaste. Okay, before I go then to that I heard window. Chirping outside my window. Hey, it's a birdie. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Okay, well. And suddenly. Oh my gosh, she's cat. I was a cat. Whoo! Hey, how do how how, how do I? Okay, okay, okay. Birdie, I tried birdie. To be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Okay, I don't have to, good thing is that I don't actually have to aim. I don't I, I don't need to have skill to uh to do this. How do I uh how how, how do I how do, how how do I Okay, there we go. I, I don't I don't actually need to have skill. Look at me. Oh my god, kitty. I'm a cat's kitty. What do I do? Wait. Oh, hello. Hello, mom and dad. 
Okay, how do I get down from here, damn it? Okay, there we go. And then there we go, and then there we go. And then the birdie is right there. Hello, birdie. Come here, birdie. I want to eat you. Got her. <laughs> that purring, though. Or not, not, not the purring, the growling. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I do? What did I do? Jump up there. What am I doing? There we go. I could tell she was getting really tired. Where'd she go? Right there. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Anymore? Why would you climb this tree? That mama bird. God, this girl is savage. I gobbled her up. Oh! And suddenly, I was an owl. Bird. Yay! All I heard was See, now that's cool. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Wait, where? Dude, this is cool. I, I like this. Rabbits. Okay, 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 okay. What, what am I doing? Whoa there. Okay, I clicked and I went, eh. Okay, I, I have to get that gig. Yeah! I, I, I feel, I feel bad. I imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up. And I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Jesus Christ, this kid! What kind of kid is it? That's what I'm my saying! Rabbit. Okay, my rabbit, my rabbit, my rabbit, my rabbit! Ah, attack! Yeah! I feel bad. I should not feel good. I feel bad. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Well then. What? <laughs> I'm a rolling, rolling shark. Okay, so I just click and click and click to roll. Oh my god, what is this crap? Oh my god. And into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh my god, I'm going I'm going to get nightmares from that boat right there. Okay, so I go down and then I attack. Cuz I didn't get anything. Okay. I just saw Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I got you. I'm so confused too. What kind of kid is this? Jesus! Holy crap! Maybe it's maybe it's a good thing that she died. So jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh my god! I'm a snake. Go! What's going on? Okay, there we go. Jesus, why is this so hard to control? Okay. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Nagini. Yeah, 100% Nagini. Oh my god, I can't move. Can't move. There we go. I was big, but I moved real quiet. I can't move. I can't move. Attack, please! Oh god. Oh my god. What kind of dreams does this kid have? I'm gonna keep going up. Wait, can I just I wanna I wanna go in here. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. 
Jesus is kid. That's, I want to. I want to make like a about like a cool. Oh God, now 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 I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, not a good idea. Going back, going back, going back. Go. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, we're good. This is good. There you go. This bitch is mine. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, going outside. Okay, I saw a door right there. There we go, he's mine too. I'll give you two guesses as to what that is that she smells. And the good smell went into an old pipe. I will give you two guesses to guess what that is. Right now, guess right now. got two guesses starting now no 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 give me one guess at, at least one guess come on I got closer and closer A baby. Kind of. A ten-year-old kid. A ten-year-old kid. All of my stomach started growling. Stomachs, dude. Dude. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. This kid is fucked up. This kid is so fucked up. Holy crap. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Like, holy crap. All right, so we got Lewis. Oh, Lewis, Lewis. That's, I'm sure that's, why you, that's who you were talking about. We got Milton, we got Edith. Which is me. We got Sanjay, Don, Gus, Gregory, Kay, Sam, Walter, Odin. Oh, hey, Odin. Uh, Edie, Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam. And Molly's the one we just uh, witnessed. Uh, well, her death. We just witnessed her death. We got Sanjay. Who's Sanjay? And Sven. I don't know who those people are, but what ifs? Oh my god, Molly. had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Poor Molly. Dude, it's that stupid cat! This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Yeah. Let's see when what Edie's is in here. People, Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Okay, well that's how Sven died. 
Dragon kills Finch. Tragedy strikes a uh, Finch family pond. Celebration to turns to morning. That really sucks. I, I mean, at least it, at least I can say you got killed by a dragon. Built 1937 by Sven Finch. Okay. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Well, then. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. That mole man is probably still Even there, I bet 90s. you. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. I'm actually gonna check that out first, then open the door. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington Send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Okay, so that's what happened in the original house. Odin's okay. daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Well then. Okay, I did not mean to do that. How do I exit this... Just, okay. Okay, what am I doing now? wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. So what do you think of this game so far? I mean, I, I like it. It's very, very interesting. Sven Eddie, okay. Sven Edie, I keep, ah, I keep saying Eddie. Okay, okay, what is all this? What what is all this? This is all so weird. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I can't go in there. There we go. Also, the key is for like all the books. The secret room in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Okay, and then just open the... There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Okay, pull it down. It isn't in the cupboard. Pull it's up. hidden in this book. What kind of house is this? And where can I get one like this? I... Kitty. We should get a house like this. <laughs> We, we should get a house like this. Calvin Finch, born April 25th, 1950, died September 23rd, 1961. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I, 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 I wish I could not put down my cameras, you know, but there's nothing worth photographing here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Milton. Okay, so Milton roamed around the secret passages too, like all of them. I, I, that's what that's what I'm assuming. Watch Milton be alive. God, those think those kids are creepy. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. Okay, uh, before I actually go up there, I'm gonna. I like this room a lot. I I really want it. Like, okay. <laughs> If I had this room, I would definitely have my setup up there. Or have my bed up there and put my setup down here. Either way, it'd be very, very nice. Okay, no, 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 no,
Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna go there right now though. No 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 I have not explored this room. No 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 Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go up there. Wait, they did they each have their own they each had their own like little upper area. Why is this room so cool? To command center. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Calvin, 1950. Aww. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay, so now I'm Calvin or am I, or, or Sam. I'm, I'm, I don't know who I am, but I'm one of those. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we said That's sad. we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh my god, I think I know what's gonna happen. He finally made up his mind to do it. So I am Calvin. I and I'm about to die. Around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. That was so sad. But why the fuck would you put a swing next to a fucking hill? That was sad, but I am questioning the logic in that. Oh my god. That was terrible. That was sadder than Molly's. After the funeral. Edie ripped off Calvin's half of the room. Okay, yeah, so she ripped off this half, that's why, okay. Fort Sam, Fort Calvin. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. I mean, I, I wouldn't either. Ima imagine how hard that must be. Holy crap. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Okay, here's what I want you to do, Kylie. After every death, I want you to tell me which one you think is the so far. Right now, I th it's definitely 100% Calvin, because you know that crap. Edie's father that was sad. built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. I mean, yeah, the... <laughs> It was all sad. I, I can't I can't look at the Snapchat right now, Kylie. Holy crap, that's a headless thing. Oh hey, it's Barbara now. We're going to Barbara. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I mean she was a child star. Who okay, people don't just keep Bigfoot around. In their room, you know. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one.
Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. Well, that's not creepy at all. She reached for the music box. Okay. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. I guess now I am Barbara. The friggin' she found Rick's horror <laughs> music. Imagine the worst. Is this Michael Myers' music? Is it? I think it is. Can I hit? Yeah! <laughs> Let's freaking hit everything off, cause you know what? Why not? Let's make. <laughs> oh, hey, I made one in. Heck yeah! I want to. I want to make. I want to make the blue ball in. How did the key get back in the box? I, I, I assume they found the body. You know, it's not like the body would get stuck down here all the time. Oh my god. Okay. is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Why is this so creepy? Hit that! Out of the way. Eh. 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 Screw you. The old fridge rattled and grew still. Hit him again, please. Relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. Grossy, this, this is, is what remains of Edith Finch. Dead, Walter. Okay. Oh, I can hit with E too? Okay. Okay, there's a freaking skull over there. That's not creepy at all. 
Oh wait, it's Halloween. Oh no, then it's not creepy. It's actually not creepy because it's Halloween. Oh, hit the. Hello? Oh yeah! Walter. Walter, are you Walter, where are you, Walter? Oh yeah! Walter, I vanished. But his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island Police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and... Was speechless. He was quite smashing. Okay, hit him. Slam the door. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Okay, and uh. Okay, so now we go through the secret doors, obviously, right here. Her part beautifully. Well, Crazy, it's not Friday the 13th. It's what I meant to be Finch. I can live stream Friday the 13th later if you want me to, though. I mean, if, if there's share play too, I can let you borrow my account. But just couldn't do it. Okay, can we go right here? No. What about out the window? I don't know. I looked at the comments and I got lost for a second, so I don't know what to do now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over. Yet. Well, obviously, knowing every horror movie ever, she's gonna go downstairs, she's gonna turn around, she's gonna go to where he is, and he's not gonna be there. Oh no, he's not there! Had vanished. Hiya. Listen for his breathing, but all she was. Ding dong, run doorbell. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh no! <gasps> Hello, people. Oh, dear. Oh dear, you were right. Bravo, you were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Oh no. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her Well, that's not creepy at all again. Okay. Barbara, 1944 to whatever uh, 1960 is, right? Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay, so, so far we got Molly, we got Barbara, we got Calvin, and we got, we got uh, 
Inge Ingeborg, however you pronounce his name so far, we got them four. And, and, uh, da, 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 and now, oh, happy birthday, Barbara. Oh, that's right, because she died on her birthday. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 Barbara. Rip, Barbara. Okay, I don't, I don't think I have to go there, do I? There's, okay, there's probably a book somewhere here that we can hide. I mean, that we can go through. If there's not, I'm going to be disappointed. Or, you know, there's also this. Because it's obvious that we have to go down to the music box. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Okay. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Okay, so now we just gotta keep spinning, 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 spin, 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 and spin 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 and There we go, there's the key. Okay, so now we go downstairs and we get the pool table! Man, I want to play with the pool table so bad. How do you de how do you deny your children of pool tables? Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> well, I, I, I would have been. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Well, that's not creepy at all. I would have been I mad though if she denied me. Presents. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Okay, well, Kylie, since you're back, what you missed is the... Uh, what's her face? Barbara got taken by a bunch of monsters on her birthday, and I all they found was her ear in the music gone. box. She so, said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. All that remained of Barbara Finch was her ear in a music box. If there's a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter, 1952-2005. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. I guess now I'm Walter. Okay. How do I do this? Oh, okay, I just spin it. But after okay. a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. So having a schedule, living for today. So he died. I mean, not he died. He was down there for thirty years. Tomorrow. If you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Oh no! So down here for 30 years. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... Jump from 1976 Stop. to 2005. Damn. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It tickles. 30 years of the same food. I would kill myself if I didn't have pizza. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. Get Walter. I have to leave. Well, I still can. Okay, is there anything else that I can grab over here now? So 30 years of this, I would not be able to make it. Okay. No, no, click click on it. I'm sorry, I just wanted to wipe my hand. Man, this family has like a billion books around, huh? 
But then again, but then again, it's a giant house. Jiggle. What is this? Grape jelly. Okay. What is this? Cereal. Extra crispy. Okay, tomato. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. It's true. You can never have too many books. Okay, so, so far... Yeah, so this is 2005, so Calvin, Barbara, Molly, they're all Maybe dead. Maybe this is all a mistake. Wait, I didn't get to, ah, but I I didn't to, get to see the rest. I the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I didn't get to see what was I'm left, going to though. I appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one little day. But doesn't he die I'm like right now? The sun on my face. <laughs> oh my god, that's so... Terrible. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. That is so terrible. He, oh my god, he's stuck down here for 30 years. The one time he decides sure to go out, he gets run over me. by a friggin' train. Oh my god. This is so friggin' sad. Calvin's still a sadder though. Just the fact that it was twin brothers, what makes it sadder, you know? Like Fred and George in Harry Potter, it's just Fred's death is the saddest because he has a twin brother. You know? Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Okay, so that's where he went down. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. And there's nothing down there but, but food. That's still alive. Wait, I heard a train earlier. Is this honestly a good idea? Now that there's only one of us left. Or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Okay, so she's the only remaining else. person in this family. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. And this is where Walter died. Wait, there's nothing over- what? I'm, I'm sure that there was wood, like, over there, huh? There was like a woodland over here. It all sank. I wonder what's way over there. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought oh my god. About your family. That's not creepy at all, okay. And the history you're a part of. I heard like a boat thing. Okay, so to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I don't feel very lost though. I mean, the, the, this is pretty guided. I mean, it, it, there's obviously some stairs and then... people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. There's a town over there. Man, this game is so sad. Totally makes up for being a walking simulator where you don't even get to sprint, but rather zoom in. With two different buttons. And when you look at the house... 
had that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. I mean, I don't doubt it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Oh, we're gonna, this is a cemetery. It's Let's embarrassing see how many, for me to admit this, but. How many dead relatives we got? The cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault. That sucks. I found myself. I found myself though. I mean, this one's five years uh, older than I am, but you know, it's. I mean, uh, four years older than I am, but it's still, it's still me. It, it's Charlie. It, it's me. We got Lucy. We got Daisy. We got Charlie. We got Tucker. We got Coco. We got Zoe. Let's see. What do we have over here? We have uh, Lewis, Milton, I Edith, Sanjay, Don, Gus, Gregory, Kay, Sam, Walter, Odin, uh, Ingeborg, Edie, Sven. Don, Barbara, Molly, Calvin. Okay, so none of these people are in my um in my book. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna remember you, Charlie. Wait, that was a cat! <laughs> I'm stupid! She said that the pet cemetery. This is all these are all cats. I'm a cat. See I told you. I mean they're not all cats, they're all pets. Okay, that's a frog. Bailey's a frog. Hey Shadow! I found you, Shadow. I'm taking. I'm sending the, a Snapchat of this to Shadow. Is it, don't mind me, real quick, Shadow. I found you. I found Shadow. Let me save that. Save it. And Saber Magnus, where are you, Saber Magnus? There you are. Okay, sent to Shadow. I found Shadow. I found Charlie. Is there anybody else I know? No. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Okay, so here we got the main family. We got Molly, who got eaten by a snake. We got Calvin, who was... Who <laughs> freaking flew off the cliff. We got Sven. Have I seen Sven's death? I don't think I have. I have not. We got Edie. Have not seen. We got Walter. We just saw him. And we got Barbara. We know Barbara. This is really sad. Wait, what is that? Okay, that's just the book. Oh, they all have like their own symbol. Like here we got the cat. The flying cat, the owl cat. We got the rocket ship. We got the saw. We got the book. We got whatever this... Oh. Oh, it's him right there. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. I'm, I'm definitely not trying to get a... Uh, a uh, screenshot right now. I'm definitely not trying to get a... um A thumbnail. You know? Where's my... Is it F12? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but that is definitely I'm not sure going to be the thumbnail. It had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on. But for Edie, the past never went away. Dude, that's so cool. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Hey, Shadow. Edie said she... Oh, that's the old, that's the original house. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, is that it? Is that, is that everything I need, I need to know here? Wait, is that everything I need to know here? No, yeah, that's everything, and uh, I can't. I assume I can't go down. Yeah, I can't. I cannot jump off. Sadly, I, I can't fly like Calvin. Then what? What do we got over here? Nothing. Uh, let's just go back to the house. Let's shadow. Let's show you your grave again. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand.
Okay, I don't know if you're gonna see your grave again, Shadow, but it's over there. The more I can see where my mom was coming from. Oh, hey, there's Sam. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Sam died at 33. Gus. Gregory. I don't know who Gus and Gregory are. Are they over here? Yeah, they are, but I haven't seen them yet. Sam, I assume he died in battle, like in the military or something. We got Lewis over there. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. We got Milton. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. I will keep on saying this. This is so sad. Where is Shadow's grave? Where is Shadow's grave? But looking back no, on it's over. Now. It's way over there. Okay, looking back on it now. Oh, this is where uh, Molly died, isn't it? If yeah, she it told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. She is pregnant. I was right. Okay. Okay, and uh, go up here. What you doing here pre alone if you're pregnant, damn it. Okay, um... Oh, there's a ladder over there, okay. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. That's bear. That's bear right there. They were both pretty intense. Okay, this is Sam. I assume it's Calvin's brother, Sam. No, I want to open that. Don't drop that. I want to open it. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. I wouldn't want to shoot anything. Okay, what do I do? Jesus. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Oh, there she is. Okay. What? Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? There Never she is. Forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. There we go. That's good. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. What? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that's a keeper. Oh, that's nice. I've drunk all that coffee. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Oh, shut up, Sam. Last time I was with my brother, Calvin. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Let me get behind you. Do I have to 
do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don! <laughs> Dude, I would feel the same way. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Okay, so I have to walk. <laughs> eh, run! Run, Sam! Run! Dad, it, it's twitching. I think it's. It's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! <laughs> No, I didn't kill Bambi's mom. Bambi's mom killed me. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. That's so sad. Jesus. Watching your dad die because you didn't kill a deer? Oh my god. What is wrong with this freaking game? It's all so sad. Also, I'm jealous of this room. I would like this room. I want every room in this house. They're all nice. Just this, just this whole house is nice. I want it. After Sam died... My mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Okay, can I? Okay, there we go. Oh no, we got Gregory. And, oh, Gregory was a baby. Okay, Carlisle, Sam Finch. What is that? <laughs> Orcas Island. Get Crozy. Tell Crozy. Screenshot. I'm screenshotting that. Orca. Orcas Island. I'm just going to say Crozy Orca Island. A lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendars after the self Do you file written response? I'm complaining. Blah, 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 blah. Eh, I don't really want to read all of that. It's a divorce contract. That's all you need to know. That's sad. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Huh. I don't want to watch baby die. I saw things the rest of us don't. I don't want to watch baby die. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Hey, well, is he just gonna like, oh my god, what's going on? Hand over, Gregory. It's time to. Hold on, sweetie. Okay, mama. I'll Hello? hold on for you, mama. Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> Hee! Whee! Okay, that's one. Eh, why is this so hard? Two, three. Oh yeah, four. You reminded me so much of Cal. Oh god. Okay. There we go. There we go. Just in his imagination. Oh my god. Whatever it was, he saw. Hello. It sure made him happy. This is so nice. I can flee. Oh yes. Okay, okay. So now I have to reach up there. Okay, I got this. Now get get over here, Well. I know how silly it sounds. Sorry about 
that, Gregory? I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Yeah, what's going on? I wish you could have told us. About the world he saw. Get out of the way! Oh my god, he flew! About Gregory. What is he? He's a frog now. He's a friggin' frog now. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Sam. Okay, this is so friggin' sad. That kid had an awesome imagination, though. Like, I'm not even sad about his death. Like, it, he, he went out in style. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible, though. God, this game. I feel like I'm gonna end up crying by the end of it. I saw, I saw some words right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I, I, I saw some I words right there. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding. Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Okay, so now I am uh, seeing somebody else's death. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Okay, so now we're gonna see Gus's death. Okay, there's the cemetery. Oh my god, that's creepy. Whose idea was this? This is terrible. You you don't you don't put this in the house. It's terrible. Okay, there we go. There's more. Okay. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I, I now remember. pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Okay, give me more, uh, give me more letters, please. Okay, what, what, uh, where do I go now? Okay, that right there, I assume. D this falls on him, doesn't it? When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> Screw you, Dad. I do what I want. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. All the humans? Am I not human? The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Okay, I'm gonna pick up all the chairs that I can, everything that I can pick up, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Oh, crap. Shit, shit's gonna go down. Shit is gonna hit the fan. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Oh my god. But I didn't. 
until we found you. Gus, 1969 to 1982. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Hmm. I mean, it would have been respectful. He had a cool mohawk, though. He was dyed red, too. That's nice. Okay, Kylie, I got a question. Uh, do they, um... Do they, do, do you like the pictures of them show up before I look at their, their deaths? Or have they... Do they only show up after? Because I honestly, I never notice them until after. House rules. No playing outside without permission. No answering door for strangers. No messes after the dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. Okay. Um, uh, Gus, Don, Gregory. I, damn it. I want to turn them on. Okay. Let's just go upstairs. Duties. Don, sweep, trash, Gus, mop, mow yard, Greg, be a baby. That's, that's, that's like the best thing though. Just be a baby. Okay, I can climb this. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. I am a pregnant lady moving around, climbing stuff, doing risky things. Why is this happening? Holy Religion Bible. was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay. So, my mom is Dawn. My dad is Sanjay. Fly to India. Okay, that's nice. Ten ways to read to teach critical thinking. Dawn Finch. Can I not look at the, look at the notebook? The journal? No. Uh, it, same. I haven't been paying much attention to them either. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, what do I do now? Actually, no, I think that, um... Gregory's picture was there before, uh... Like, I, I think I remember seeing it before I actually saw his death. Why am I climbing this if I'm pregnant, damn it? Look at me, I'm pregnant, why am I climbing stuff? Why is the closet? That's not safe. <laughs> That's not safe. Okay. Uh, okay. My mom right here. moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. I don't know if I missed Daddy. Uh, no, because I also haven't gotten Sven. I also haven't gotten Sven, and Eddie was the last, like, the latest one, I think, so. Lewis and Eddie were the latest ones, so I assume like we're gonna go up to Don, Sanjay, Milton, Lewis, and then go down to Sven and Eddie. Uh, Edie. Can I? I can't go down there. When your dad died. I don't think mom knew where else to go. Don. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. Odin Finch. Ooh, that's nice. I, honestly, if I were her, I would definitely just take the laptop and go. Edith. Barbara, Molly, Sam, Calvin, Gregory, Odin, Sven, Gus. I mean, I've seen all their deaths except Sven. Have I seen Odin's death? I, I don't think I have, have I? Uh, I mean, Odin and Ingeborg are different people, aren't they? So, I don't think I've seen Odin's death. Lewis rules. The 
beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! For tenth birthday, you give somebody a castle? A freaking castle? Are you kidding me? I, I, I want this house. I, that, that, I, 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 that, I want this house. Okay, so I assume after that we're gonna go like up there. Da, 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 da. If I did miss them though, I am, I, am, I'm gonna make sure that I don't, <laughs> that I go back and find them. I mean, like, the game's pretty guided. Uh, like, I think it'd be hard to miss people. Milton, 1992. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. There's no paintings here. There's, I mean, there's one, there's two, there's three, and that's it. Can I not open it? I guess I can't open it. Okay, and now we're gonna like start making our way up to the very top, which is right there, not very far at all. Uh, da, 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 da. Lewis, 1988. Did you Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. I am jealous of this kid. He was 12 and had the most amazing room. He had a yacht for... Are you kidding? He had a boat for a room. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with these people. I, I, I want these. I, I want these things. Okay. There's nothing else here. It's just up for... A chair? Man, I'm so jealous of these people. I mean, I know they all died, but you know, I'm still I'm so jealous of what they had. Oh my god, okay, don't do that. I guess I probably do have to go like right in the boat exit. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Nothing here. Oh, there's a thing right there okay but it's such a rickety old house it's a cool rickety old house you gotta admit Lewis look at this crap very very familiar that part of him lived on legalized marriage yes <laughs> you just just yes oh my god this guy was stuck wasn't he 12? He was... No, no, he was 22. What am I talking about? He was 22. Uh, how do I get uh, 12 from 1988 to 2010? I guess I just read 2000. Dear Mrs. Finch, As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh god, I missed. At the time, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... His mind began to what? Wonder. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is cool. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. I have to pay attention to two things at once now. This is... This is difficult. Feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. What is this? Is that a, is that the dragon? That have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. 
I'm paying attention to two things at once and it's so difficult. But we found something more. Okay. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Oh, it's a doggy. Hello. Okay. Goodbye. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Hey, hey, it's me. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. I mean, why? how could you not win? You, you own this whole place. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Okay, so now I'm just... Oh my god, okay. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis here. <laughs> Saint Lewis. He started drifting away from our reality. Okay, that goes over there. And... Damn it, okay. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Hello, mother. Okay, he so knew. this is... He heard rumors of a... Handsome queen. I'm not gonna choose the king just because he was on the left side. I always choose the right side. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to pay queen attention to this freaking fish. For... <laughs> We're always gonna go with the rainbows, why not? Radiant rain. Hey, we got some rainbows right here. He followed the sound of her. Uh, this time I'm actually gonna go with the sitar, because why not? Electric sitar. Oh no. Oh no, I'm... I, 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 I'm, I'm upset about missing that, that note. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He 
knew the world was all in his imagination. Okay. But he was so proud of having created it. Okay. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. You know, I, I don't think I would mind this too much, just staying around all day and uh, just cut fish's head off. In the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then just imagine uh, being a king and or whatever he is. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Makes sense. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. I guess now I'm actual Lewis. I'm sorry, not actual Lewis, but Lewis in the in the, the factory, whatever it is. Okay, it's my locker, obviously, because we got legalized marijuana here, so it's my locker. I began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis. That's a lot of fish. Cannery worker. Hey, that's not the cannery worker. That's the king, Lewis. Wait, no, it's he not. Never mind. Despise the man with a royal contempt. Lewis. Lewis, what you doing there? Okay then, this is not creepy at all. Goodbye, Lewis. I'm gonna I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Calico who'd insisted on advising him. I'm gonna go be a king cause you know why not cause my imagination nobody else is obviously I rule this whole place nobody, nobody else is gonna take that from me no 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 you're not gonna be king you're not gonna be king you're not gonna be king holding his crown you're not gonna be king. You're not gonna be king. You're not gonna be king. I'm gonna be king. Cause you know what? I rule all of you. Cause you guys suck. You're not gonna be king. I'm gonna boast that I'm king all, like all, all fucking year. You're not gonna be king. You're not gonna be king. You're not. You're not gonna be king. You're gonna be my queen. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, I need to flip that. <laughs> my brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Okay, so we still need Milton. We need Don. We need Sanjay. We need Mom. We need Dad. We need Milton. We need... Edie, we need Sven, and actually we're almost done. Dang, I thought this was gonna take a, a while longer. We've been, I've been streaming for an hour and a half, and it, like I'm almost done. Okay, it's good. I want to sit on that. Okay, all of this looks very nice. I want, I want this room so bad. I just want to live on a boat on top of a house, you know, because you know why not? Screw logic, screw safety. This is obviously the best way to live. My mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I think this is the last house. I wish we'd stayed. 
But I understand why we left. Edith, Mom. You could honestly just live up here and forget about everybody that's down there. You don't ever have to come out. <laughs> you got your own kitchen, your living room. You got everything up, up here. You don't need to ever go down. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Wait, so did the mom live up here? Isn't she 90? Happy 90th birthday. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. It's a baddie. It's a wapani. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Okay, so I guess I did skip some people. I hear the house creaking. I feel like somebody's gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Okay, so that's me. I just got excuse. And... Okay. So I'm walking the around. The had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. And this is going to be Edie's library, last time. I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. So this is going to be Edie's death. At least that's what I assume. How many people do we got? We got, uh... We still got to find out what happened to Milton. Uh, Mom, Sanjay, uh, they're dead. Uh, Edie, so we're figuring out Edie right now. Then they were so it's then dad mom isn't going to end when you leave the house and Milton Edith has a right to know these stories my children are dead because of your stories I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight we'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning okay No, I want to look at it. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That okay, night, take the that off tide quick. went way, way out. Okay. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Okay, so I'm Edie right now. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh no, but it's literally straight. Come on. All you have to do is walk straight. I'm just gonna keep on walking straight. I I got turned around. How do you get turned? Oh, I forgot my mouse is stuck. How do you get turned around so bad? All you had to do For was walk while, straight. I wandered. I started seeing things. Hello. Things 
things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Oh, look at the bed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! Mom, let go! Don't be such a bitch. Eh. Kicked oh, and screamed, ripped. but... Mom dragged me to the car. Okay. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. No, 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 goodbye. No, Edie, no, Edie. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Goodbye, Great Grandma After Edie. After that, we moved around a lot. Hey, look, it's my arm. Such a, it's such weirdly shaped. It's like... We both tried to make the best yeah. of it. Okay, so I... Oh, hey, I can move around. That makes sense. We A few years went by. Okay, now it's that. Okay. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Ah, uh, there goes mom. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Wait, who am I? I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Oh, the baby, of course. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Okay, so now can I- I can this swim. This journal was supposed to be for you. <laughs> I'm coming out of the vagina, aren't I? I'm- I'm- I'm, I'm, I'm being born, aren't I? I just want to meet you. I want to meet me too. I'll tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Was I never born? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Can I move around here? Or now I think I see the credits. Wow, okay, that was totally not sad at all. Okay. Just gonna see it through the credits, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my face cam off. Oh god, no, 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 no. Gonna meanwhile. Totally not sad at all, you know? And I never got to find out what happened to Milton. Unless I find out, find out like after the credits. I'm gonna go back and replay it if I don't know what happened to Milton. So what you think, Kitty?
Yeah, it was interesting, huh? Eh, Calvin, definitely the saddest death. 100%. Saddest death. You, you shouldn't ever have to watch your twin brother die. I like how they use the baby pictures of all the programmers and all the, like, all the freak, all, all the crew. The whole team. I rate this 9 out of 10. The 1 being because I don't know what happened to Milton. I want, I want to know what happened to Milton. God damn it. I'm interested. Hey, well, that's cute. The game? still don't know who's Ven is. I mean, I remember who's Ven is. I just, like, I... I never found out anything about him, really. Oh my god, the, the baby on the left's face. Like, the eyes are so spread apart. Oh my god. I like it. But, I mean, Sanjay wasn't really part of the, like main family like he was the husband of the of the mom he was the hu he was the husband of don so he doesn't really count for as a finch does he i thought that kid on the right right now deborah she looked like my friend. <laughs> oh, I wish I had been play tester. Scarred for life too. Trick or treat, smell at my feet. And take out food, of course. Edith Dawn, Edie Lewis. The end. The replay a story option is available now, so I can replay a story. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna check that out real quick. Oh, so I can check, okay. So Don, we already did that. So we need Milton. Uh, can I click on Milton? Sven isn't there. I mean, Sven was Edie's husband, so he's not gonna count either. Neither will Sanjay, and neither will. Uh... Oh, so I guess that was Odin, and then Ingeborg was the. Uh... He doesn't count either. Can we replay Milton? Oh, okay, I guess we can play Milton. Okay, so. Was this open when I was here? Am I, am I stupid? Oh, dude, this is like the unfinished swan. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Okay, so that's Milton. Dude, no, this is no yet. Yeah, I I don't think I could have been gone in here before because this is all like Easter eggs for the game The Unfinished Swan. What does that say? Like that's the king from The Unfinished Swan. I know this because I, I I love that game. It was such a nice game. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush.
was four when Milton disappeared. Okay, the end. I just got an achievement called the end of everything, so I did just get everything. Okay, can I just go down now? How do I Mom's get out of here without like? For my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Oh my god. Okay. So how do I get out? Like, do I just walk out, or do we? This is the magic door, I assume. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Is there anything over here now? No? No. Okay, is that it? Like... I wonder if this is all it. Like, I don't... I don't know what else to do now. If, if I can just leave now. Okay, I think I, I think I think we can just leave now. Okay. Yeah, that that was it. That was everything. Okay, done. I'm done. This is done with. Uh. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If whether you watch it during a live stream or if you're watching it after the live stream, it does not matter to me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later.